Goalies are scared of him. His teammates love him. Mac O'Keefe is considered by many to be the best lacrosse shooter in the entire world. With his quick release and pinpoint accuracy, it's almost impossible for anyone to stop a shot from O'Keefe. Today I want to break down exactly what makes Mac such an incredible shooter and tell you what drills and techniques you need to do to become the next Mac O'Keefe. Whether you're a beginner or advanced player, by the end of this video, you're going to know everything you need to do to become a goal scoring machine. I'd highly recommend you rewatch the video and take notes to really soak everything in. Before we get started, do you mind if I send you an email each week with even more lacrosse tips and advice just like this? If that answer is yes, come on over and join the free Lax Weekly email newsletter. Over 500 of you already have. You can also follow me on Twitter or Instagram at LaxWeeklyHQ. Now let's get into the video. So the number one way you can start shooting like Mac O'Keefe? Develop your off-ball movement. This is everything you do when you don't have the ball in your stick. And Mac O'Keefe does it world class. You see, he utilizes different cuts and tricks to get himself open from his defenders. Sometimes he'll do a backdoor cut where he cuts away from the ball instead of towards it. Sometimes he'll do a simple V cut where he runs into his defender and then takes a few steps out to create space. He's constantly looking at his defender's head and when he notices that his defender isn't watching him, that's when he'll make a cut and get open to score. And he's not just running around like a chicken with his head cut off, he's cut into really good angles on the field where he has a lot of the goal to work with. Make sure you're not fading away towards goal line extended, but instead cutting towards top side. And here's another thing O'Keefe does really well. He presents a very clear target to his teammates. His stick is up right next to his ear, so anyone with decent stick skills can easily make a pass to him. So now that we know that off-ball movement is so important, how do we practice it? The best way to do this is by watching film, and more specifically, your own film if that's possible. If you have access to film from you in a game, don't just go watch your goals and assists. Watch what you could have done better, especially without the ball. Watch your defender's head and see if you could have made a cut when he wasn't looking. Take notes, write that stuff down. This is truly how you go from being a good player to a great player. Next, the number two way to start shooting like Mac O'Keefe is by having a lightning fast release. No one has a quicker release than Mac. This guy has the ball in a stick for maybe half a second and it's gone. No unnecessary cradles, no windups, just catch and shoot. This is super important for two reasons. Number one, when you have a quick release, the goalie doesn't have time to react to your shot. If they don't have time to react, there's a much higher likelihood that you're going to score. I'd take a lacrosse player who shoots the ball 50 miles an hour with a quick release than a player who shoots the ball 100 miles an hour with a slow release. It's that important. But how exactly do you develop such a quick release? I have the perfect drill for you. Get a bucket of lacrosse balls and place them 5 to 10 yards away from the goal in a spot that you would normally shoot. Make sure you count how many balls you have. Now set a timer on your phone and start shooting the balls as fast as you can one by one while keeping your proper shooting form. Do this until all the lacrosse balls are gone and make a note of your time. Maybe it took you 5 minutes. Tomorrow try to get to 4 minutes and 50 seconds and then 4 and 40 and so on. This is a super easy drill to help you develop a quick release just like Mac O'Keefe. Moving on to strategy number three, which is changing levels. There's no one who changes levels better when they shoot than O'Keefe. He can put the ball in any corner, high or low. He can put it between the legs. He can really do whatever he wants. Why is this important? Because it keeps lacrosse goalies guessing. We all know that one teammate who shoots the ball high to high every time. You just know where he's going to shoot but you never know where O'Keefe is gonna shoot it. He has no tendencies, you can't scout him. So if he's changing levels every time, what do goalies start doing? They start guessing. And when goalies start guessing, that's when you start having games with five, six, even seven goals. Too many players I know are lazy when it comes to shooting practice. They just aim the ball in the same place every time. The only way to be able to change levels as well as O'Keefe is by practicing where you put the ball. Luckily, it's super easy to practice. Next time you go shoot, bring some cans or a few cones and some string. Now tie these cans or cones to different spots on the goal. Once that's done, your mission should be to absolutely obliterate these targets. Practice shooting one high, shooting one low, and then another high. No two shots should be the same. 
If you start practicing like this, changing levels will become second nature for you, and you'll be the leading scorer on your team. The next way to start shooting like O'Keefe is by bringing your hands as far back as possible when you shoot. When you watch film on Mac, you see his arms are extended basically as far as they can go. Bringing your hands back makes your shot so much better for two reasons. Number one, it hides your stick from the goalie. When your hands are back, the stick is behind your body, so the goalie can't see the ball when it's released. When the goalie can't see the ball, that's usually a good sign that you're going to score. And number two, it allows you to generate way more power on your shot. If you think of shooting like a lever, the longer the lever, the more powerful it is. This is the exact same thing with a lacrosse shot. The further your hands are back, the bigger the lever and the harder your shot will become. So how do you practice making sure your hands are back? The best way to do this is by filming yourself shooting. Go prop up your smartphone with an extra pad and record yourself while you shoot. During your water break, quickly scroll through the recording and see if your hands were back. Keep readjusting until this becomes second nature. And the number five way to start shooting like O'Keefe is by establishing a consistent shooting stroke. When you watch film on Mac, every shot looks the exact same. It's almost unbelievable how similar each shot looks. But when he shoots, he doesn't have to think about his shooting form and where he's going to move his body. He just shoots it, almost like a machine. When you make your form automatic, that's when you become a really dangerous shooter. But the only way to do this is by developing muscle memory. And how do you develop that? It's so simple, by shooting more. In lacrosse, there's no magic formula or trick that's going to change how you play. Really, the only magic trick is that if you shoot consistently and keep working at it, you will become great at shooting. I can almost guarantee you that Mac O'Keefe has spent more time than anyone else in his backyard shooting on the goal. There's no way he could be this consistent and automatic without it. I hope this inspires you to go to a wall or a goal and start shooting. Fall in love with the process. It's not going to be easy, but you're going to progress so much faster than you could imagine if you just do it every day. Now, if you're this far in the video, number one, thank you. And number two, I'm assuming that you're probably a lacrosse player who's really trying to take their game seriously. And I respect that. If you or your son is hungry for even more lacrosse tips and advice, I just started a premium email newsletter that I send out five times a week, built for lacrosse players who are trying to get better every day. It's packed with film breakdowns, drills, fitness advice, motivation, and other things that just won't exist anywhere else. It's 10 bucks a month and you can try it completely free for seven days. Just head over to the description and check out the link to the premium newsletter. Anyways, thank you so much to everyone for watching. Comment down below who you want to see next and shout out to my man Christian Thornton for emailing me. You can always email me with any questions at contactlaxweekly at gmail.com. I hope you have a great day.